we've seen already, uh, we've talked about already, I should say, the idea that we can use these functions we've been looking at recently. By the way, what kind of functions? What kind of functions are we looking at? Graphs. Trigonometric functions, thank you. Um, we can use these trigonometric functions. We have um, discussed very briefly, we haven't really looked at it in much detail, the fact that you can use these functions, you can use these graphs to model all kinds of situations. And I think some of the examples just off the top of my head, I think we looked at like electromagnetic radiation, all of it is in a wave. Um, I think we looked at, I don't think we said tides, uh, I think we said temperatures, these kinds of things, right? Anything where there's an oscillation up and down and up and down or left and right, if you like, you can use tr these trigonometric functions to model what's going on. And that's really what we're going to drill down into today. Trigonometric functions as models of actual situations. And the first instance we're going to look at is the one you've been staring at since you walked in. This, of course, is a... A mouse wheel. It's a mouse wheel. It is a wheel of some kind. Uh, it's a Ferris wheel. It's a Ferris wheel. Um, and it spins and spins and spins. And what we can do is we can model... Anyway, we can model the motion of this Ferris wheel using a trigonometric function. Now what I'm going to do is provide some details to you, which I'm starting off here. And um, we're going to construct an equation that will model this. Now I'm going to say right out the gate, um, usually you will get given a model. You'll get given an equation, you just have to interpret it. But we're going to use technology to be able to produce this equation ourselves. And in the future, when you see the equation, I want you to understand, oh, this is what the bits mean, rather than just get handed it and like, oh, I don't know. How does this work? So here's the Ferris wheel. Uh, I'm going to stop it for a second because um, it's distracting me because it's spinning so fast. I'm going to give you a few pieces of information that will tell us everything we need to know about this Ferris wheel. So first we need to know how big it is. So I'm going to give you the radius of this particular Ferris wheel we're interested in. It's 35 meters from the center of the wheel to any of the points on the edges. We also need to know how fast it's moving. So when you're describing a trigonometric function, which aspect of it, and I've given you a clue, which aspect of it describes the speed of the motion? What would we call that? For a trigonometric function, what's the thing that talks about how fast it goes? It's period, right? So this is how long does it take to complete one full cycle, one full uh, you know, round of motion. So this particular Ferris wheel, it's got a 90 second rotation. So every one and a half minutes, you, know, you start at some point and that's going to come back around to the original point. Okay, we need one more piece of information, I think, uh, which is, you remember, that Ferris wheel, right? It's kind of raised off the ground, which you'd hope, otherwise it's going to collide on the bottom. So the point at which you get on, I'm just going to call it the loading point. The point at which you board the Ferris wheel, it's two meters above the ground. Two meters above the ground, so that's how it's suspended and it can spin freely. Okay. Uh, well, sort of. We're going to talk about phases as we get into this. Um, we'll, we'll come to that uh, briefly. What I want you to do is, um, with your technology there, oh, I shouldn't have mentioned this as well, when you are opening Canvas, I'd also like you to open a tab for Desmos, because that's what we're going to use to construct our model here. Okay. Right, now, we're going to use a trigonometric function to model the motion of this Ferris wheel. Now, we've got two different trigonometric functions that will do the up and down, up and down, up and down, right? What are the two functions? Sine and cos, right? We could, honestly, we could use either of them. For reasons that are going to become clear in mm, three to four minutes, I'm going to ask all of us to start with cos. So go ahead and type in cos x. I've got my cos right there. Okay. So there's my cos x. Now, quick thing, we're actually talking in terms of, you know, something moving around according to time. So normally we have an x axis to represent horizontal and a y axis here. But I'm actually going to suggest that instead of this being, and I'm going to move it over to a more useful spot, like that. Instead of this being an x and a y axis, we're representing the height of the Ferris wheel. So rather than a y axis, what might be called the vertical axis for height? How about H for height? Okay, so I'm going to call this the H axis. And because I'm thinking about this as time passes, what do you think I should call my horizontal axis? T, T for time. Okay, so we're 
We're awake now. Welcome to Monday. Okay, so I've got a height axis, I've got a time axis, and what I want to do is take this regular old cos function. It would actually, I'd write it as cos t when I'm writing it, but unfortunately Desmos just wants x's and y's. We're going to fiddle with this regular function to get it to fit all the information that we want. Okay, so for starters, at the moment, this represents something going up and down and up and down. We're representing the height as time progresses. Um, what's the highest that this particular Ferris wheel goes? It goes up to one, right? And um, apparently this is also an underground Ferris wheel because it goes down to negative one. Okay, so we want to change that, don't we, right? Um, what we want is for the uh, you know, extent of the motion to be much bigger than one and negative one. We want it to be 35, right? So. What can I do? How can we modify this equation, or this expression anyway, um, so that it doesn't go up one, negative one? I want it to have a radius of 35, so how shall I adjust the equation? Okay, let's try plus 35. So I'm going to chuck a plus 35 over here, plus 35. So the first thing that happens is I cannot see where my Ferris wheel has gone. You're going to have to zoom out, and you might as well do this now because we're going to have to do it eventually. There it is. Well, let's get my axis in the right spot, roughly anyway. All right. There we go. Why did I put my H and my T in such an awkward spot? I'm going to have to put it there. Okay, so this was Strang's suggestion. It's done something. Was this what I wanted? <laughs> this was not what I wanted. At least I'm not below ground. That's good. But what could I do instead? Alicia, you had your hand up. You were just stretching. Oh, okay, you're, you've, got, you've like realized something else doesn't work. That's okay. Zachy, what are you thinking? I put... 35 over 2 before cos x. 35 over 2 uh, at the front here. Okay, let's try that. <clears throat> Should I get rid of the plus 35 for now? I'll do, we'll come back to that. Okay, so let's do that. And I'm going to take Zachy's suggestion here. Like multiply. 35, was it? Yes. 35. And you said? Over 2. Over 2. Okay. So what do we got here? Is this sort of more like what I wanted? Um, well, certainly I have a bigger range of motion. With Sarang's suggested suggestion, what we did was we took the same range of motion and then we just moved the whole thing up into the air, right? Now, I am going to move things up in the air in a minute, but that's not what I wanted at the time. Is this giving me a radius of 35? Hmm, I'm getting some nods and I'm getting some shakes. Ashani, what are you thinking? You're shaking at me. <laughs> Ah, okay, so at the moment, right, like I'm presuming that's 17 and a half, that's 35 over 2, right? So I'm going from 0 up to 17 and a half, and then I'm also going down to 17 and a half. So this thing, the highest it goes is 17 and a half above the center, and the lowest it goes is 17 and a half below, and that's a radius of 17 and a half. Do you agree? So if we want a diameter of double of that, actually we kind of did extra work here. Instead of 35 on 2, I should just have? Just 35 will do. Okay, so let's fix that up. <clears throat> All right, so, uh, <laughs> okay, now uh, Alicia's like, no, wait a second, we've still got this problem of our, um, of our ferris wheel going below ground. That was the problem, right? Now, you're absolutely right. We've fixed some things, but not all of them, right? So I'm going to come back to Sarang's idea now. We've got this, this ferris wheel is the right size. It's going up the right amount. It's going down the right amount. There's that 35 right there. But we don't want it to be an underground ferris wheel, so how do I fix it? Srang was actually on the right track. Mo, what are you thinking? You gotta add yeah. plus 35. Okay, let's try adding 35. This is actually, this is actually back to what Srang suggested, right? And then, Will, we're going to investigate your thought. All right, let's have a look. Okay, so have a look. Here's my ferris wheel now. This is looking better. This is looking better. I'm not underground anymore. But um, this Ferris wheel is going to have some serious problems. Um, every, every few seconds going to have some problems. What's going to happen to this Ferris wheel? So at the ground. Yeah, it's just going to, whoever's like, well, actually everyone at some point is going to hit the ground real bad, right? So, Will, how are we going to fix this? You add two. Okay. We've, we've already added 35. But if I add two to that, let's actually, I'm going to be even lazier. There we go. Okay. How's it look now? Are you happy with this? It's the right range of motion. Uh, I'm not colliding with the ground anymore. And we've actually, even though I didn't mention it, we've gotten one of our other pieces of information and sort of included that. What was the piece of information? The, ooh, I haven't... Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm about to get to the period. What's the thing I've already accounted for? Will added to... Where did he get to from? Yeah, very good. This is the lowest point on the Ferris wheel. Okay? So, so far, so good. 